what what are your thoughts on Connor before I play this interview? Uh, good signing, could be a good keeper. Number one, what what are your thoughts? Well, Luke just said about mm. Prizebeck about you can't throw like someone in who's not played many games. I'll just give you a name, Richard Wright. They threw him in when he was 17 years of age, you know. You can't compare the two. No, but I'm just saying, this is why, this is what's wrong with the club, you know. We, we're getting two keepers. We only need one. You need one who's going to play. You need one who's happy to sit on the bench. And it's going to be musical chairs all over again. Because Matt, it's... what do you think? I, 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 I... I don't think Holy's really that good enough for Ipswich Town. I know I've, I've said before, he's a keeper that suits us in the third tier. But, you know, reading between the lines of what Jimmy Walker's said about him, he's a good character, he's great around, to have, around the place and all that kind of thing. I just think that covers some weaknesses and they don't trust him 100%. Hence, Cornell's coming in. That's my view. OK, so I have I did sit down with uh, Neil Egerton of Talking Cobblers, uh, something I'm often accused of myself, <laughs> um, to grab his thoughts on, on David what, Cornell. What sort of goalkeeper? is Cornell? It's a good question. Uh, and I don't really know how to answer it because I'm not entirely sure, mate. Um, <laughs> I guess as a as a new sign-in for you guys, you want to you wanna hear that he's, the, you know, the next Lev Yashin or something um, or or someone incredible, but I don't think he is. He's it's really difficult to explain what sort of goalkeeper he is because he's, he's polarised our fan base a little bit. Um, ever since he's joined, and um, I'd probably say 60% of the fan base think he's awful and hate him. 40% think he's he's okay and, and capable. Um, wow. More on the 60% side of things, I think. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. If you signed him to be your number one, do you know? Well, this is the question I was going to... I believe we have. Um, we've got Thomas Holy, who is a fairly decent keeper at this level, but the management have never really seemed keen on him uh, because last year we brought in Will Norris on loan and they had that rotation policy going on. So I, I think he, he has. Do you think he can be a number one at this level? No. Uh, <laughs> <that's> a... <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not going kind of where I thought it was going to go. <laughs> uh, what, what? Okay, so what are his shortcomings? Uh, well, how long have you got? Uh, so, how long have you got? Let's just let's do it. <laughs> uh, he, so he, he's not a leader. Um, okay. In my opinion, um, he doesn't. He doesn't. You get some very vocal goalkeepers who who clearly have a good handle on you know organising their defence and those in front of him, and, and he doesn't really do that. He is vocal, but he just it doesn't really. I don't think anyone really listens to him. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, all know. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty ropey on long shots. I never felt comfortable. And he's conceded quite a few from distance where he should be saving them, really. Uh, he, he's not, he doesn't command his area. So he, he, he's not. Oh God, another one. I'm not doing him much help here, am I? Sorry. Uh, well, well, no, we've got a long history of keepers not commanding areas. So. Um, he'll fit right in. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. So, <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, so were you relieved? If for a better term, when uh, play resumed and, and he, he wasn't in, in goal? Look, I wouldn't necessarily say I was relieved. I'd say we've got two keepers, or we had two keepers. So we had him and we had Steve Arnold, um, who we signed from Shrewsbury. Um, and Steve Arnold's bigger than, than Dave Cornell in stature. Um, he, he commands his box more. I still feel a little bit nervous with Steve Arnold in goal, to be honest, but less nervous than when when David Cornell was in goal. And that's not to say that, that Cornell didn't have some good games for us and he kept quite a few clean sheets as well. I think that was probably more, more to the point of defence in front of him than him. Um, and he is a good shot stopper. He, he does have a tendency to make some great saves, which, which is, is obviously important in his role. Um, and he is, he's pretty good at one-on-ones. But... Okay. The best way I could describe him is a bit of nothing, really. He's just a bit of a nothing keeper. Wow. Okay. That's that. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. So, well, I'm not sure where to take that one now. Um, strongest strongest attribute? One-on-ones? Uh, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, we've got enough of those already, though, to be fair. <laughs> Don't um, get you far in football, does it? Um, no, it well, no, it does not. You know, as we were discussing before we started, you know, we, in terms of stature of club, we've 
had nice guys uh, for a number of years now. Um, and here we are discussing David Cornell. <laughs> so I just, it's a, he's a strange one. I think, yeah, his best attribute, probably one-on-ones. Um, and he does, he, he, look, he, he is a really nice guy. He's done a lot of stuff in the community for, for Northampton and locally. Um, I think he even got a community award. So in, in that respect, he's a, he's a, he's a really nice chap. Um, and whenever I've heard him speak and any interviews he's done, he's, he's come across really well. I just, I don't know. I just, a club like yourselves, Ipswich, I'd imagine, you know, you've got to be looking towards top six, really top seven. So is he the man for that? I'd question it, to be honest. Okay. Are you surprised you're not making more of an effort to, I mean, I don't know how it went with, with between the club and the player, but are you surprised he's not uh, being pursued by Keith Cow? Not really, um, if I'm honest. Uh, the, the, and, and that's the thing about him as a goalkeeper, he's replaceable. It's, okay. you, you know, we've, we've had, and, and like you, we've had a history of keepers who, who don't command anything, let alone the yeah. area. Um, we, we've had a history of, of ropey goalkeepers, but the good ones we've had in the past, who you'd, you'd say I would really struggle to replace them at the time, uh, we had Adam Smith when we got when we won won the league a few years back. And actually, his career since he left us has has, has gone backwards. He's just signed for Yeovil, I think. So, um, but at the time, he looked fantastic. We had Mark Bunn sort of 10, 15 years ago who left for Blackburn, and actually, although he's had a good career, a lot of that's been number two for keepers, like for your rivals Norwich and stuff. So, um, I, I'm not that surprised. And he's average, best I can he's say. Average. He's, he's average. He's, well, he's not. He's not going to earn you any money in the future in terms of sell-on or anything like that. Is he a pair of hands? Questionable. Okay. Wow. Uh, I think on that bombshell, I hand it back to the studio, um, who will do, who will discuss those thoughts because I mean that's just wow. I I I'm, I'm surprised. I thought we were getting a better keeper than what you've described to me. Um, but I'm. But you know, you know, you know better than I do. You 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 watch the club week in week out. I don't. I I go by statistics, and sometimes statistics they lie. Yeah, and look, he, he might do brilliantly for you. Who knows? It might be, you know. And, and look, Ipswich are a bigger club than Northampton. Um, albeit we're in the same league, there's there's no question about it that Ipswich are a much bigger club than 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 we are. And that might help him. You know, it might kick him on to the next level. Maybe. Um, he, he definitely improved with us when he, when he first joined. He was a, he was te- not terrible, but I mean, he wasn't. He, he just didn't have any confidence. You could tell. And then he ha- he has got better over time. He's just he's just one of them keepers that is he's just a goalkeeper, and there's nothing exciting or impressive about him. Equally, he's not completely atrocious. He's just for a, to to be a number one goalkeeper in League One. I'm not sure. So he's no Barsos Belikowski. He's not. And there we go. <laughs> that was a glowing reference. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boys, I, I, I did finish with, with a Bart reference. So guys, we will watch the the full video back. We'll know tomorrow. But um, I asked him, no, so he's no Bart Belikowski, and he said no. Um, I, I've got to be honest, I, did, I walked in to the interview expecting to have a little bit of a glowing back at me because people I've spoken to have said he's a good goalkeeper. Yeah. That's what I got. What you thought? Well, it's an interesting take in it because you have to presume that Jimmy Walker's watched him several times and has obviously influenced Lambert's decision on bringing him in. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's like our kind of keeper. Um, do they seem as a bit of a something, a bit of raw material they can mould? I don't know. It's no, certainly not a glowing recommendation, was it? No, for, it was not. I, I, I honestly couldn't believe it. Um, and what I do you think oof, which see I could look, I agree with him there, Adam Flat. You know, when a lot of players leave, they get they don't get a glowing reference a lot of them. So let's like I said before, let's wait and see until he's played. Let's not judge him. Let's see what he can do. But this is where this is where I disagree because who knows the club better than its fans? People signing Will Keane will say the exact same thing. People signing Luke Varney would say would say the exact same thing. Fans know players the best. This not is a really. podcaster. This is a podcaster. This is not, uh, you know, this is somebody who is, uh, you know, what reason has he got? What Luke reason Varney, has he got? Luke Varney, Will Keane, you know about them. David Cornell, I don't know a lot about him coming in. I've only 
had a look on the internet and I've listened to that Northampton fan. I'm going to judge him with my own eyes. You know, we're, we're, Is we're, that not why we're here? Yeah, we Third are. Tier. But we can't be on here every week slating people. You know, we have to give them a bit of a chance. You I know? think you have to be honest and say this guy we knows. Play Martin. We haven't seen him play. How this no, guy knows seen, him better than we do. We've seen him play at Pullman Road. Yeah. We sit there and say he's rubbish, and we haven't even seen him play. Yeah, I'm, I'm going off the recommendation, and the recommendation tells me. No, mm. In a few weeks' time, when he's let an absolute howler in, we'll say you were right. <laughs> yeah, you're useless. Still, you're still in love with Bart. You need to get over it. <laughs> he's not. I, I, no, well, yeah, I am because that should be that should always be. The benchmark, always, because otherwise you slowly and surely decline. You go from Richard Wright no, we're de- to... We know we're declining because we are in League One. You know? Yeah, well, yeah, I know. And I, and I fully get that. And I fully, I do I do agree with the, we have to give these, these, these players an opportunity. And of course, once they've signed and the ink is dry, then we'll, I'll love them till the day is, you know, till the day is long. But in the meantime, I'm going to question every single decision that football club makes. And I'm going to question whether or not this is a decision it should be making on a salary capped player. This is mm. a player that's going to cost us. We don't against need the cap. Look, I think all three of us agree. We don't need another goalkeeper. There's other the areas mm. of our team that we. I oh know. Look, I oh know, Matt. You don't rate Thomas Ovid, but you're going to have the same. We'd have sold. What's that? Don't I think about McGoldrick. About McGoldrick. I think. Uh, Catherine's uh, Catherine is trying to say would have told uh, United fans about McGoldrick something similar and maybe so we would have said great player but to, there you would have said great player can't stay fit he's not saying great goalkeeper occasional mistake he's saying he felt nervous he felt nervous watching him didn't he he's not good at long short shots good on one on ones he does make I think it was from Luke's video I saw he makes very spectacular saves from what I noticed you know, even like run of the mill saves, I think he was like kind of diving all over the shop. But yeah. I think Rich is right. We have to get, he starts with a clean slate when he comes to Portman Road and we see how he goes from there. Okay.